Imagine standing on the moon, looking back at Earth. Now imagine that's just a pit stop on your journey to Mars. Welcome to the dawn of a new era in space exploration. A time where national and international space agencies collaborate with private enterprises, where probes are destined to reach every planet in our solar system in the next two decades. This is an age where the quest for the unknown fuels our determination, and the cosmos is no longer a distant, unreachable frontier. It's the next chapter of human exploration. The journey to the stars wasn't always a collective endeavor. It started as a fierce competition during the Cold War. The space race between the United States and the Soviet Union was a testament to human ambition and innovation. It was a time when every launch was a headline and every mission was a step into the unknown. The pinnacle of this era was, undoubtedly, the Apollo moon landing. When Neil Armstrong declared, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, it marked a turning point in our history. This era was not just about reaching the moon, it was about the human spirit, about pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. The space race spurred advancements in technology, science and even culture. It inspired generations of scientists, engineers and dreamers, igniting a global fascination with the cosmos. But the space race did more than land a man on the moon. It sparked a global fascination with the cosmos that has led us to where we are today. The baton of space exploration isn't just in the hands of national agencies anymore. Private companies are now part of the race. In recent years, we've seen a surge of private enterprises boldly stepping into the realm of space exploration. These companies are not only competing with each other, but also collaborating with national space agencies around the globe. This new dynamic has breathed fresh life into the Mars exploration initiatives. We're not just talking about sending rovers or satellites anymore. These ambitious companies, backed by their technological prowess and unwavering determination, are aiming for manned missions to the Red Planet. Space tourism, once a concept confined to the realm of science fiction, is now on the brink of becoming a reality. We've already witnessed suborbital flights carrying civilians, paving the way for a future where trips to space could be as commonplace as cross-continental flights. As we push the boundaries of what's possible, the Red Planet isn't just a distant dream anymore. It's a tangible goal. Beyond the thrill of exploration, space travel holds the key to answers we've been seeking about our own planet. From the vantage point of space, we see Earth in a new light, helping us understand climate change more intimately. The eyes of satellites monitor polar ice, ocean temperatures and carbon levels, painting a vivid picture of our changing environment. But the benefits don't stop at our atmosphere. Probes venturing to the outer reaches of our solar system are revealing new resources. For instance, asteroids, often viewed as space debris, are rich in precious metals and water. Imagine mining these celestial bodies for resources that are becoming scarce on Earth. And let's not forget the quest for extraterrestrial life. Telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope are peeking into the farthest corners of the universe, exploring the possibility of life on distant planets. Each discovery not only expands our knowledge of the universe, but also shapes our understanding of life's existence and its potential beyond Earth. Space is more than a final frontier. It's a treasure trove of knowledge and resources waiting to be unlocked. The future of space exploration is as vast as the cosmos itself. As we venture further into the heavens, we are not just exploring a physical frontier, but also the boundaries of human ingenuity and curiosity. Imagine, if you will, a permanent lunar base serving as a stepping stone for Mars exploration. A base where humans live, work, and prepare for the next giant leap into the cosmos. This isn't just the stuff of science fiction, but a collaborative endeavor of national and international space agencies, alongside private enterprises, all working towards this shared goal. And the lunar base is just the beginning. Within the next couple of decades, we can expect probes to reach every planet in our solar system. New telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope are set to explore the possibility of life on other planets, providing us with stunning images and invaluable data about the cosmos. Interstellar travel, once a distant dream, is now within our reach. As we develop technologies to propel us further into space, we may one day visit other star systems, maybe even find a second home among the stars. But as we prepare to become a multi-planetary species, 
we must also consider the profound implications. What does it mean for us, for our children and our children's children? How will living among the stars shape our understanding of life, of our place in the cosmos? As we stand on the brink of a new era, we must ask ourselves, are we ready to become a multi-planetary species? What does it mean for us, for our future generations, and for our understanding of life itself?